You are back. This does not surprise me. People are always coming back to Zam Zam. Hold on, my very poor assistant Anna is trying to get my attention like some wacky waving inflatable man. What do you want? You have to tell them who you are and what you do. I said that in the last one. Yeah, but some people might not have seen that. Why? I don't know, just please. I am secret world famous makeover consultant Zam Zam Dumod. I get paid lots and lots of money by clients from video games to make them more fashionable. A lot of money. It's more money than Anna has ever seen. Okay, if well. you idiotically didn't watch the last video, I talked about my clients from Zelda. Today I talk about my clients from Mario. We start with Swoop. They went by Swooper back in Super Mario World, but I was like, no. Uh. Rebrand. They come to me, they tell me I'm supposed to be bit. I look at them, I say, bit. This, not bit, not bit. Bard, cave bard. This is a cave bard. Gren, orange, not bit. We're Gren Bat. Gren Bat. Congratulations, you have just been witness to my new transforming hairstyle. I am like the small boy Wonka. You want to be bit, we work on it. At first, rough, Super Mario 64, they look mouse. Like flying Mick Mouse. Then I work magic. Fish, bit. That is bit. So purple, so blues. Whereas yellow's yas called Asans. So you want to keep clown nose, I guess fine, funny, funny bit. But overall, cave bird to bed. I am amazing. Next we have the angry son who was almost refused service for the aptitude. He barged in here like Yosemite Sam. Which I said, you are not going to walk in here with your family jewels on your head and ruin my perfect patient vibe. I like the patient, but save for screen. He wants to rebrand to be more family friendly. So I try to make him look like the most family friendly thing I could think of. Tell it to be son, baby. Didn't work. Then he gets huge geek. Mario Mega 2, they want four looks. We throw back to the original, we play safe with another. I'm designing the third one and thinking, what does Sun Baby have that we are missing? Then I see it. The baby poos. The people love the baby poos. Angry Sun, he begs me to use poo contacts. I told him they never look as good as you want, but he insists. It was bad. I think the bad press had a pretty drastic effect on him. He said he was taking a break from the industry for a bit. And five years later, he comes back with a lot of work done, a new hairline and a prescription of something. Spotlight giveth, spotlight taketh away. He's fine. Then we have Skeeter. I know what you think, like Hong Kong from Dog Fanny. An asshole, yes, but like, if a three-year-old drew him as a spider, he looked like he come from a different game. Baldy basic, maybe. I could see him coming down hall. So our first change was to get him more in universe with the rest of the cast. But the times, they change. Super Mario Sunshine was all about the future tech. So we update Skater's looks with some fresh new kicks and the same color scheme as the hot new fluid. But word got out that Skeeter started hanging out with Angry Sun at parties, and yeah. You can tell, the eyes don't lie. Anyway, his old color scheme was a bit too close to the new kid on the scene, Swap Hopper from the same game. And Sam Sam and clients are nothing if not original, so I switch up and he stand out again. Another water-based client is Cheap Chomp. Not to lie, back in the day, Cheap Chomp scared me a little. He looked like cute goldfish. Oh, swim with cute goldfish and then he eats you? Spooky. But hates the character, not the actor. The most glaring problem though was that you can't see anything with sunglasses underwater, so we remove. Unfortunately, turns out they were prescription glasses, so they actually see a little worse now, but artist sacrifice. We also start rumors that Cheap Chomp is related to Cheap Cheap, like family industry plant. Very common in showbiz. So to help with rumor, we make him look more Cheap Cheap than Cheap Chomp. Cheap 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 Chomp. This backfired. Cheap Cheap did something problematic, so then we go the opposite way. We go, officer, I've never met this man in my life. No relations. They're clearly red, I'm clearly purple. Finally, we have my most difficult Mario client to pin down thus far. Fight or fly. They come to me originally from Atari 2600 and it was clear to say we're just following the Space Invader fashion train, which Zamzam does not stand for. For next Atari gigs, we try to find a less generic look. For 5200, we separate wings from head more and have a little more mystery into this. Almost like Pig Dog from Zelda. We lean more into the mystery for Atari 7800. I wanted people to look at Fight or Fly and say, what the fuck am I looking at? Elephant with glasses? I thought that this was a clever way to keep the name Fighter Fly in people's mouths. But when Mario Bros for NES came along, the production higher-ups wanted a design that was easier to distinguish. They clearly do not understand publicity. So I say you want a gross, disgusting Bogue? Fine. Bogue is sad because Bogue lives miserable existence. When the producers are still not satisfied, I say, then let us a designer take them as clients. 
You can clearly see that Fight or Fly in Super Mario Bros. 3 is not the work of Zam Zam. Pale imitation. The Ali Express to my Proda. Except Zam Zam is better than Proda. They beg for me to come back and I say, Fine. I have new vision anyway. Nobody like Bug. Nobody like Bug. To make people like Bug must make cute. We look again at Sun Bibi. Round head, button nose, big eyes. No clue, but put some on Bug. Still better. We go further. Baby fat in cheeks that you want to squeeze. Bright cartoon colors. Welcome back, Zam Zam. Oop. One flaw. Too cute. I am too effective at times. It is my ugly you. But to be enemy, you cannot be that cute. You must be mean, snacky. So we give like a cool guy burglar look and a big mischievous grin. We cap round Babeth's appearance with just bug-like details. But then we work on acting choices to make seem more like Fly as well. Oh, you thought Zam Zam was only limited to fashion? No. Zam Zam Renaissance makeover consultant. Can do all. Speaking of doing it all, I have no more time for you. Count every blessing you have so that I can squeeze this docuseries into my precious schedule. Again, I am already secretly famous, but my very poor assistant Anna's socials are on screen. And if you become a patron or member or something, maybe she'll become less poor one day. Probably not. Farewell, peasants. Gambana is the wonder why she didn't come to play. Gaming bits that'll make you laugh and think and put them on replay. Intelligent, kind of funny. Her community's number one. Stick around and kick your feet up. Gambana has just begun.